Hey everyone, uh, my name is Andy. My channel is Finding Value. If you like making money, subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is a financial education channel based off of uh, commodity type investments or anything that's undervalued. Um, I might start looking into even some technology companies. Uh, I do think there's some some pretty good opportunities there, maybe even in like the solar panels, stuff like that. Uh, if they're going to go that direction, I'm not going to fight it. So uh, this is the oil and natural gas market update. We're going to look at oil. Looks like it's pulling back. But first, I want to get some perspective uh, before we start just diving into some of these charts. So I'm going to go over the oil uh, gold to oil ratio. So this is oil and natural gas update. <clears throat> this is the gold to oil ratio. Uh, we are at 28.23. That means we have 28 barrels to one ounce gold. What does that look like on a historical basis? This is from 70s to March 2005. Uh, we're way up here in 28, which means that uh, historically that is extremely cheap. Uh, whenever it gets above the orange line here, you want to start to accumulate oil. And when it gets below the green line, which is a 1 to 10 ratio, uh, that's when you want to start looking at possibly uh, exiting positions, your oil positions when it's below 10. So uh, what I'm hoping happens is that we we're way, way off this chart. It went all the way above 100, <laughs> which I think will create a supply problem in the future, maybe a year or two. And now we've, we've fought, fought our way down. We were way up over 100 back here. We're fighting our way back down, outperforming gold, and we're down to 28.23. So we are still historically in a buy zone, uh, which makes me think that we should not be selling anything. We should be holding on and accumulating when the charts tell us to. That's what I think. Now, when you look at this, this is a day old um, chart. You see this big down day, and then we have the fight back up these two days. This is a signature trait of a rollover to be sold off a little bit more. How much, how long, I, I, that I don't know. But on the short, short term, Get the big sell off like this and it tries to come back up within this body it usually means it's going to come back down more which it did so we're getting a little bit of a pullback a little sell off this is sm energy it's pulling back a little bit obviously when when oil goes down but if you take a big picture view we've got the 50 day crossing the 200 day we haven't even come down and touched the 50 day in a while so maybe it comes down and tags the 50 day maybe it doesn't not 100 sure but <clears throat> I'm, I'm i'm in it I'm just going to be sitting in there uh, holding on to my shares. CPE, same thing. Uh, when you see these wicks on the bottom, sometimes that, that shows a little bit of strength, that there's people buying it and, and it doesn't want to close very strong. So it, it comes back up throughout the day, showing that there's a midday reversal. So that doesn't look too bad. Uh, centennial development. The good thing here is that at least the candlesticks are contracted. Uh, you've got a dark cloud cover came down. It struggled to go back up. See the small up days and then the wick at the top. And then we got the two big down days. So the power is to the downside here. It came up, got smacked down, came back up in this little pattern here, and then popped back out down to, uh, of that pattern. So is this going to hit the 50 day? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but I'm not selling it. We've got a nice strong uptrend here. Uh, we got the 50 day over the 200 day. We got volume kicking in all over the place. Uh, I, I'm just hanging on. That's that's all I'm doing. Same with uh, MCF. This one doesn't look too bad. Kind of a bigger up day and then two small down days with a wick at the bottom. Not horrible. Um, so it is doing a little bit of a pullback to maybe the 50 day. Maybe this is all we get. I, maybe we're up tomorrow. Again, I, I'm i not in the, the game of a crystal, you know, reading crystal balls. I don't see a bottoming pattern per se, uh, but I also don't see like a huge blowout down day. Perhaps we get one, um, but to me, the, the chart overall on, on a medium to long-term outlook looks bullish to me, and especially with the, the value where it's at. Grand Tierra, uh, if this thing closes low, we could we could go down further than uh, the 50-day, obviously. Uh, but overall, the trend and momentum is to the upside. Uh, so what I do is I, I bet with the trend, I bet with the momentum, and I think a bottom's in place, and we're just in a short-term pullback. Same with Tellurian, uh, doesn't look doesn't look horrible, but it is contracting. Like you can see this thing kind of contracting up and up and up, and eventually it'll break one way or the other, either upside or down. I, I'm not 
again, whenever I see these large patterns like this, with the 50-day across and the 200-day, you've got all these big up days all through here. Um, obviously, when you have a move this large, it's going to give some of it back. They call it consolidation periods. So you're just going to consolidate for a little bit before it moves on up. And we're just in this consolidation pullback period. Uh, same with Antero Resources. We got a kind of a big down day here with two small up days. We could see further downside here. Um, is it the end of the world? No, it's not. Just hold on. <clears throat> crew energy same thing uh bearish engulfing here another kind of bearish engulfing it could pull back a little bit same with birch cliff kind of a bearish engulfing here kind of two black candlesticks here almost like a double top for, for a short-term double top and maybe we maybe we head back down here we'll have to see and then tetra technologies um it is coming back uh, this, this one doesn't look too bad, but again, we've got these big 50 days crossing the 200 days. We've been on absolute fire the past couple of months, six months or so. It's going to give some of that back. It's, a, it's in a consolidation pullback period. Um, this is this is pretty normal. With a with a my viewpoint is when I look at this, I, I see a gold to oil ratio at 28. That is extremely cheap in, in relationship to history. Whenever you have those cheap valuations, I look to accumulate. I don't look to sell. Uh, price doesn't influence me. This is just short-term stuff doing this in front of your, your face. Uh, it's it's toying with your, your emotions if you're a, a brand new investor. Uh, and I don't trade off of emotions. Uh, in, in fact, I don't even go into my account and look at it today because it's probably getting blown up. Um, but I'm looking at it for the from the long-term perspective. I'm, I want the that ratio to compress all the way down below 10. And these companies are going to be far higher than where they are today, uh, looking at it from a long-term perspective. So uh, I keep my eyes on the value. That value is, is it's gleaming right in front of us saying, hey, look, this thing is still very underpriced. So I'm going to be patient here. I'm going to wait for this pullback to, to kind of exhaust itself, see where it is. When I see movement to the upside, pick up some shares. That's That's what I'm going to do. If you guys like this content, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you guys think. Do uh, you think we're going to continue to pull back? Do you think we're going to find some, some better footing uh, very soon? Let me know what you guys think. Put it in the comments section. Love to hear, hear your thoughts. Thanks for listening. This is Finding Value.